All right, folks, here we go, and what a miraculous run it has been for this 135-pound woman. She fought for the belt back in the day, didn't get the title, everybody left her for dead. Look at her now. She never believed that she was done. She knew that she would get back, even if everyone around her told her it would be very difficult. She put her head down, she went to work, and she's back now. And she feels like because of that journey, the ups and the downs, the, the, the torment, that she had to go through, being de depressed, not being the champion. All that has built her to be the person that can take the belt tonight. A lot of valuable lessons learned. She's never looked better on the scale. Perhaps that will be an indicator of things to come tonight. Amanda Nunes, ready to battle and take home that elusive UFC goal. What a moment, all eyes are on the UFC Women's Bantamweight Champion as she tries to succeed in defending the title yet again. She's one of the best pound for pound fighters, man or woman on this roster, and prohibitively favored yet again in defense of her title. I love her confidence. I just love the way she carries herself as the champion. You don't have to know she's the champ to know she's the champ, because when you look at her, she has that star ability about her. And even though she has that, all of it rooted in her fighting ability. She is one of the best the Octagon's ever seen. And I do think she could be a double champion, but she was sort of reticent to hear that conversation. She is focused on the task in front of her tonight. Our tale of the tape for this women's Phantomweight Championship fight. All right, to get us started now, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Amanda the Lioness Nunes. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC Women's Bantamweight Champion of the World, Vina Kakawa Jajitoba! Herb Dean, our Ready. referee for this one. Ready. Good. So here's Amanda Nunes back for more. She can mix it up with any Bantamweight in the world, but believes she has some striking advantages in this particular matchup here tonight that she can take advantage of. Let's see if... Oh, 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 Effective utilization of the ground and pound here by Janji Dope. All right, side control for her now. And you know how heavy she stays with all of that upper body strength. We'll see what she can do from here. Well, she's got great upper body strength, and that's why she passes, because she doesn't necessarily feel she needs the legs to control her opponents on the ground. So she goes to side control and hopes that you give your back. That's right. why you see she has so many rear naked choke submissions. I would never give you my back. Don't give me that. Nice shot there by the champ. You 
can't take all those unanswered strikes. They don't have to be that damaging. Yeah. You just got to move. Janji Dovis looking to lock up an arm bar here. Got it very tight. Oh, that's getting tight. She might actually finish this fight now. The sheer will is, is really remarkable to watch. She gets out. It was locked in. She somehow survives. <laughs> Nunez ground and pound from half goal. <laughs> Just over three minutes to go, round one. Chanji Dover's back in full mount. Oh, arm triangle attempt now. Oh, looks like she's got that arm triangle locked in. Oh, she defends yet again. What great submission defense on this play tonight. Oh, beautiful straight right hand. Takedown shot there. How good is her takedown, D? Two minutes now to go in round one. Good jab. All right, so that body continues to get ripped up. The judges are looking for damage and damaging moments, and her body investment has been the narrative in this fight. Early, you may not have been able to see how much of an effect this was taking on her, but now you see it. The game plan. Everything's clear now. And we'll see her continue to do that as she tries to chase down the finish. Janji Dobas back in half goal. Hey, let's go. Get that wrist control. Hey, 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 Under a minute to go. That was a slick transition. Janji Dover's in half court. Well, she did not miss a single grappling practice during this training camp, and here's your evidence. Outstanding movement on the ground. She looks like a master of grappling with the great movement that she's showing on the ground. She's moving her head pretty good on the ground here, avoiding a lot of these shots. All right, half guard position for her here, and this is a spot where we've seen her have a lot of wild success in previous fights. She has a tremendous amount of success with this position because she's so dull. She's got her back now. Ten seconds to go in the round. Not there yet, but might get the submission here shortly. Round two is next. Heading back to the corner now after that round. Nunez has got a real significant cut above the eye. We'll see if the cut man can stop the bleeding. Avoid that takedown, okay? Let's not worry about the knees. Let's not worry about the strikes. All right, so a lot of high-level striking in that last round, but the big shot, of course, to the head that stunned her opponent nearly got her out of it. I mean, she hurt her bad. I, I can't believe that we are going to another round. I thought it was over. She landed it perfectly. Usually, that's enough to end a fight. Unfortunately, the round goes on. Let's see what happens. You ready to fight? Ready. Go. All right, round two. Oh, that strike to the body, man. Oh, nice jab by Chanji Doba. 
All right, so she lands yet another leg kick there. She's landed several in the round, and now you see the damage. It's obvious on the other side. I mean, look at the redness in the leg, the bruising, the welts on the leg Nasty. from those leg kicks. It's unbelievable to watch someone land that kick over and over again. But if it's working, why not? Oh, she just ruined her there as she slammed her opponent to the ground. I bet that hurts your back just watching it. It hurts my back. It sure hurts your back. But it doesn't feel any worse than it does to that young lady right. that just got slammed on her back. I mean, she is feeling that. Oh, she gets the high kick home. Good straight hand there by Newton. Nice job by her there to land yet another takedown. I gotta think if Gilroy High School wrestling practice oh. next week, they're gonna be watching this one. I mean, we will show it. I will pull out the projector, put it up on the wall, and say this is how you secure takedowns in a big environment. The state tournament has nothing on what this young lady's going through. And now she's in mount. All right, so Nunez is in half court. Continuing to stay busy here on the ground. Trying to stay heavy here as best she can. Nunez is in full guard now. And there you go, again, half guard. Janji Doe was able to transition back to side control now. Well, she was long on grappling experience coming into the UFC, and you see her chop. Janji Doe was trying to lock up on a submission now. She's got it very tight. Oh, she got out. How good is that? She's trying to pass the guard here. Ooh, gets denied by the she bottom fighter. She got stopped. She got stopped right in her tracks. Great job by the bottom fighter. All right, well, through no lack of effort, she still hasn't been able to get the submission. you got to credit the defense at some point. Absolutely. This young lady is so present defensively when she's under attack. She never panics. She's so calm under pressure. She seems to be a person that can't be submitted. Nicely done. Just over two minutes to go in round two. Janji Doe was right back to the full mount here. Lands with the ground and pound here. And now she has her back. These ground strikes are starting to add up. Yes, smart adjustment, yep. Oh, when you get in a bad spot on the ground and you want to reverse it, that's what you need to do. Master class is changing position on real seats. Oh, right, it's a mount. All right, so just as we saw in the previous round, she is realizing a lot of success with her kickboxing game tonight, and you can see the confidence growing with every strike landing. It's overwhelming for her opponent to be in there with her when she's in this flow state. She's so good at everything she's doing that now the activity is starting to pick up. If she can continue to fight in this way, I wouldn't be surprised if this fight gets finished. Short time, short time. Uh, reverses the position now. Beautiful work by her on the ground there. Nice job by Janji Doba. All right, she's got the full mount here, DC. It's hard for me to remember a time in which you were fully mounted in the UFC. I have never been. Whoa, heavy shots raining down. Beautiful transition. All right, so Nunez is back in full goal. Really doing a nice job getting these shots home on the ground. She has no answer, so continue to feed her the question right hand after right hand from the top position. Janji Doe was right back to the full mount. Oh, nice job by her there. You see how strong she is. Her opponent's trying to control posture, unable to do so. Now she can get to work and put the money in the bank with that ground and pound. Money in the bank. Posture's up now. Oh, it delivers. Huge punch to the head there. And out there. I mean, how about those last five minutes? Are you kidding me? All right, sit down. Deep breath, baby. Deep breath. Slow that heart rate down. Everything you're throwing is working, okay? Everything. Let's stay heavy. All right.
And let's take a look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. And man, those leg kicks just landed with authority and her opponent didn't adjust. Yeah, they landed with authority, but they also landed in bunches. She threw so many leg kicks in that round. You have to deter her from throwing them anymore by checking. If she checks one or two of those leg kicks, she will stop throwing them Ready, so fight. frequently. Ready. Yeah. Round three of a possible five. Starting to put together some significant body work here, and these are going to take their toll as this fight goes up. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's going to shut your body off. Oh, perfect head kick there. Well, hard to see exactly where she is cut, but it's somewhere around that eye area. It doesn't look great. It's never good to get cut, but right now it's a small one. You don't have to worry about it, but you got to protect it. She gets to the single collar tie. Look for her to try to move her opponent to find openings to land uppercuts and shots right up the middle. Well, she told us coming in that the body strikes and the body work would be a big cornerstone of her game plan in this fight. And you see the numbers there, bottom of your screen, that absolutely tells the story. No one's going to accuse her of being a headhunter here tonight. She has worked that body to great effect. Those punches to the body are really starting to take a toll. Janji Dota gets tattooed with that ball. Beautifully timed and placed. Oh, big stick up top. That's another one. Lands a strike now from the bottom. Nice work there by Nunes. Big right hook there by the champ. Let's go. We got a scramble here. She's stepping over the ball here. Really good job to land these strikes from top position. Might be able to hook onto an arm here. Oh, that sub is tight. Oh, she better tap her. That thing's going to snap. John, she's going to break her arms. She's going to break her arms. Oh, so now she gives up on the submission. She did, and she did because she saw that she was going to end up in a worse position. Great recognition to give up the submission and maintain her dominant position. All right, north-south position now, DC. If you're on the bottom, what are you trying to do to escape? If I'm the bottom fighter, she needs to try and force the top fighter to make an action to create some sort of sequence that will allow her to start defending. Because the moment you're on the bottom there, you're just kind of waiting, right? You're fighting with your hands, trying to grasp onto something that will allow you to get up. It's a very difficult defense. Got to be careful here. Setting up for another submission now. Ooh, she's got that in tight. Oh, what a transition to the belly down on there now. Oh, she got out. What beautiful submission defense by the young lady. To stay calm and patient in the fire is what allowed for her to defend that submission attempt. Under two minutes now to go. Most fighters will tell you offensive wrestling is the hardest, most exhausting thing. Especially if you're just running a guy over, Jonathan, he just gets up. All right, so Nunez's cheek looks like it's cut. Yes, it is starting to bleed a little bit now. In the half guard. Full side control now. Massive shot from the top. Janji Doba's back in side control. Oh, more attack. Yup. Oh, that's getting deep. Oh, tremendous escape by her there. Beautiful submission defense on display by this young lady. Nice one two there. So confident. That timing was on point. Nice takedown lane. Well, she'll ground you and she will pound you. These strikes are really starting to add up. They're starting to add up because now she's more willing to take chances knowing that she can land. And now she's in mount. Oh. She does a good job of recognizing that the shots are coming, and she's got to get out of the way. 
Gigi Dovas back in half court. She's trying to pass the guard here. Ooh, unable to do so. Nice. To oh, nice headlock. Oh, she's got the Dorse choke now. Oh, she's got it locked up tight now. She's out oh, again. What a fight so far. All right, so there's the horn indicating the end of the round, but not before damage was done. She was cut on her cheek from the strike in that round. And now the focus for the cut man, shutting that thing and making sure it doesn't become a factor here moving forward. Well, she's done a nice job just hammering the cut on that eye. I'm not sure how much more fight time we're going to have tonight. Yeah, she will not be able to go through this much longer. She took way too many shots to the eye, and now she's dealing with a nasty cut. She's got to be more focused on the defensive side if she wants an opportunity to win this fight. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, here's round four. Fight schedule for five five-minute rounds. Here we go. I'm excited, man. Fourth round is underway as we get those championship rounds. Both of these women with a lot still left in the tank or so, it seems. They did a great job of preparing themselves for the long fight. Let's see who can sustain the energy over the next 10 minutes. Oh, and there is another knee for good measure. She might have the best knee game in this division. And in this round, she has already landed several. She continues to inflict damage on her opponent. I'm not sure how many more of these she can take. She does a great job being technical. Great punch lands. Stuff to take down, no problem. While she continues to land to the body, attacking those organs, right? Not a lot of protection there, and you're seeing some visible damage now on the other side. Visible damage. She's done a tremendous job understanding and recognizing where the weakness was. And she has exploited that, and she's going to continue as she tries to get her hand raised. What a strike by her there. I do not doubt her opponent still stands. She's still standing. She's still getting on the bike. And she's got to get out to the center of the octagon, front of the face, so that she can evade her opponent from finishing her. The reach advantage has proven so beneficial. Another punch lands. Janji Doba gets tattooed by that straight punch. Continuing to go to the head. And there's a takedown attempt. Oh, shot to the body connects there. Beautifully placed right underneath the elbow. She didn't really throw a lot of body shots overall in the fight, but in the latter stages, smart to work the body. Great takedown defense right now by the champ. Well, the visible damage on her body really starting to develop now. She's got to answer some of these body strikes or this fight's going to end soon. Well, she's got to block something in the turn. You can't wait until the attack is finished to try to throw something. You can't wait to try to defend. you got to be first. you got to be first with your offense if you want to deter your opponent from going to the fight. Got to keep pressing. She's got to hurt. Got to look for the finish. All right, so we got a little bit of separation now, but watch out for the setup. You got to think she's going to shoot for another takedown. Here. She's going to shoot for another takedown, and it may not look pretty. It may be her taking a shot halfway across the octagon. As long as she gets into contact, she is comfortable because she wants to fight down on the floor. Well, this is one of the more active rounds we have seen all night long. Both of these women have realized success with the striking and both seem damaged. It's always fun when you get a fight like this, where you see the blood on both sides, where you see the swelling on both sides, where you see the concern for both fighters recognizing, that, wow, I've got my equal in front of me. Let's see who can push through and get the victory. Janji Dovis knows his cut now, and she's starting to deal with some blood in that area. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. She does a great job breaking that clutch position. 90 seconds to go now. Well, it is not the worst cut we've ever seen in the UFC, but a lot of blood donation happening right here, right now, as her opponent continues to target that area. Yeah, I mean, you, are a, you have a, a fighter in front of you who is so disciplined who is so sharp, 
you have got to get on your bicycle, you got to get on the outside, limit the damage, get between rounds, and then try to reset. Because right now, this cut is only getting better. Well, her body has really absorbed a lot of shots in this fight, and now you're starting to see some of that redness, the visible damage. You've got to make an adjustment out of this. She's got to make an adjustment. I mean, she has to do something different. Right now, she is a step behind her opponent. Every time her opponent gives her a feint, she overreacts, and bang, here comes the body attack. She's got to take the lead if she wants to stay in this fight. Seconds to go. Oh, beautifully placed in time kick there by Nunes. She's a beast. Those body kicks will really pay dividends. Final seconds. All right, so there's the end of the round. Big story in this one now. The cut on the bridge of that nose from that strike. The cut man is in there. Should be able to shut this one and potentially prevent it from being a factor here moving forward. Well, well no surprise to see her opponent continue to attack that cut on the bridge of her nose. Nasty cut on the bridge of her nose. She wasn't moving her head, and she is now paying for it. Her opponent now will be even more aggressive in her approach to try in advance the damage to her nose that she's already dealing with. Ready to fight? Ready. Fifth yeah. and final round. All right, so as this round gets underway, let's see if the high-level action continues. Both women had their moments in that previous round. Now we'll see if there's more aggression and we'll see if one fighter can really take control. Takedown defense holds up. Man, she's got it all. Oh, she might be able to get her out of there now. Now the two separate from the clinch. Uppercut lands. Oh, nice takedown defense. Execution on the hip toss there. She's able to take her down. Her opponent felt like she knew this attack would be coming. She couldn't stop it there. But she did not see the setup. She did not see her opponent push into her, right inviting her to push back. The moment she pushed back, boom, time to go for a ride. Unbelievable. Three minutes now to go in this one. Janji Doba's in half guard. Working in half guard here, making these shots count. Oh, nice. Oh, she's working hard for the arm bar. Ooh, she's got the arm isolated. She is moving to her finishing position. Oh, looks tight to me. Oh, great submission defense as she gets out. Oh, reverses the position now. Outstanding work on the ground by Jan Chido. All right, she's got north-south position now. All right, she's in full guard here, DC, but you know she passes as well as anybody in this division. Oh, man, when she gets to the ground, she has an amazing ability to just be advancing or thinking advancement every single time, but her opponent has a great ability and a great sense of anticipation 
that when you try to go, she's able to get back to her feet, escape, and get to where she's comfortable. Oh, she's got a triangle, and that one is tight. She told us before the fight on Thursday that she was going to have to be put to sleep. She wasn't going to tap. Easier said than done, though, here. Well, she's going to have to tap, or she's got to throw her away. Oh, she's out, and I don't mean unconscious. How did she escape? Great submission defense on this play tonight. This is a terrible position. Janji Doba's back in full guard now. Oh, lands with the ground and pound strike. These ground strikes really started to add up. There's another one. Oh, nice hammer fist there by Nunes. And there you go, again, half guard. DC, I know you got my back. She's got her back, and she can do a lot of damage from here. I've got your back, and I'm your boy, J.A. She's got her back, and she wants to end her night right now. She's got to be very careful. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Nunes. Oh, look at that high-level grappling as the fighter reverses position and attains a dominant position. Janji Doba's back in full mount. Oh, nice job by her to posture up there. Now we'll see if she can maintain that separation. She has to recognize. Janji Doba's trying for a submission here. Oh, compromising spot here. Triangle choke is locked in. Oh, somehow she gets out. I thought it was over. I thought it was over, but that's one thing you know. And there is the final horn. What a 25-minute affair tonight. We're going to the scorecards. The Ladies official decision is in. It resides with Bruce Buffer. After five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. The judges score the contest 48-47, 48-46, and 48-46. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision. And still the undisputed UFC bantamweight champion of the world. All right, so there she is, the and still UFC Women's Bantamweight Champion of the World. As many of you guys know, this is a belt.